Uy Scuti is the largest star ever discovered. It is a hypogeant that lies roughly 9,500 light years away from Earth in the constellation of Scutum. Uy Scuti is a red supergiant located in the center of our galaxy and can be seen from anywhere on Earth. Scutum is the fifth smallest of the 88 modern constellations located in the southern hemisphere of the sky. It is visible at latitudes south of 74 degrees from June through August, along with Sagittarius. Scutum contains several clusters, as well as a planetary nebula. Its neighboring constellations are Sagittarius, Apiuchus, and Ocular. UY Scuti has a diameter of 16 AU. It recalls that of approximately 2.4 billion kilometers. The radius of UY Scuti is about 1,708 times larger than the Sun and it has a mass 5 billion times that of the Sun. If the Sun happened to be located right next to the supergiant, it would appear as an indistinguishable speck. It is the largest star by radius discovered to date. If this star were placed in the position of our Sun, its radius would go beyond Jupiter's orbit, almost reaching Saturn's orbit. UI Scuti did not gain much attention, as it seemed to be just a small light spot. Later, when the star was reinvestigated, it was confirmed that its planets had changed over time. Therefore, we can now see that this is a variable star. So, according to the Agilander naming scheme, the star was renamed the UI Scuti. In 2012, the Very Large Telescope, VLT, was used to measure the parameters of the star. As a result, the star has gained more attention after being revealed as the largest star ever discovered. It will take about 210 years for a rocket SR-71 Blackbird to travel at its maximum speed of Mach 3.3 or 4042.635 km per hour. For example, it will take about 1,000 years for a normal plane to fly around the star, although it only takes about 48 hours to travel all the way around the Earth. There's no doubt that this is an enormous star. It will also take a little over 200,000 years for humans to walk around this star. It will take 7 hours even at the speed of light. FYI, it only takes 14.5 seconds to travel around the Sun and 0.13 seconds for the Earth. UI Scuti has the largest physical volume out of all the stars discovered so far. It is 1.7 times larger than the radius of Betelgeuse. Assuming that the Sun is a volleyball with a diameter of 20 centimeters, UI Scuti would be approximately 13,000 meters tall, which is 1.5 times the elevation of Mount Everest. UI Scuti can feed around 5 billion suns and 6,500 trillion Earths inside itself. Since UI Scuti does not have a nearby companion star, it is impossible to measure its exact mass through gravitational interference. However, according to a theory presented in the stellar evolutionary model, the red supergiant UI Scuti is estimated to have been roughly 25 times the mass of the Sun when it was first born. It is believed that there are variable stars which periodically expand and contract. As the hypogeants are at the final stages of these evolved stars, they are unstable and short-lived. Therefore, their loss of gravities cause extreme mass loss. We have more in the list of the large stars that lie within the Milky Way, many thousand years away from Earth. The list includes the stars with the radius over a thousand times that of the Sun. WOH G64 with a radius that is 1,635 times. RW Cephe with a radius 1,535 times. Westerland 1-26 with a radius 1,530 times. V354 Cephe and VY Kenis Majoris with a radius 1,500 times. KY Cygni with a radius 1,430 times. AHE Scorpi with a radius 1,411 times. VX Sagittarius with a radius 1,350 times and HL5171 with a radius 1,315 times. The mass of the stars is estimated at over a billion times that of our Sun. 
so a billion suns could fit inside themselves. If these supergiants were placed in the location of the sun, they would all reach Saturn. They are the current largest known stars in the Milky Way. This is a moment of anticipation and curiosity as to wonder how big and intriguing the stars in the future will actually be.